Hello everyone and welcome to Applied Technology High School. I'm pleased to have the opportunity to share with you all of the exciting possibilities that await you as a student at ATHS. Formed in partnership with Bergen Community College, ATHS offers a unique high school experience that you won't find anywhere else. Whether you're interested in health professions, engineering technology, or cybersecurity, our school will provide you with an outstanding academic education combined with state-of-the-art hands-on technical training. Located on the beautiful campus of Bergen Community College, ATHS students have the unique opportunity to earn college credits beginning in their freshman year. These classes, which are part of the core academic program for all students, are taught directly by the wonderful faculty from Bergen Community College. During your time with us, you'll meet all the requirements during your high school diploma and to also earn college credits that you can use to get a head start on your college degree. Once you graduate from ATHS, you'll have the ability to continue here at Bergen Community College with advanced standing, or you may choose to transfer your credits to a four-year college or university. Whichever pathway you choose, you'll be better prepared because of your experiences here with us. While attending ATHS, you'll take classes in our secure high school facility located in Ender Hall. You'll also utilize college facilities located around the campus. This includes the Health Professions Integrated Teaching Center Labs and the Stryker Manufacturing Lab. I want to also assure you that while at ATHS, your high school experiences will include all of those activities that every other high school student enjoys. As a Bergen Tech student, you'll have the opportunity to join an athletic team with students from our other campuses. There are also a wide range of club activities available to satisfy your passions and interests. In the rest of this presentation, you'll learn more about the specific academic programs from our guidance counselors. You'll also hear from our students about what a typical day looks like. I'd like to encourage you that if, after watching this presentation, you still have questions, please reach out to our admissions team. Good luck to all of you as you begin the application process. I hope to welcome you as a freshman student at Applied Technology High School next September. Hello everyone and thank you for joining our virtual open house. My name is Laura McNaught. I'm a senior in the medical major. I'm also the class president of our senior class and in preparation of this year's open house I was able to gather a few of my senior friends to actually bring you into an active school day and let you hear about our campus straight from the students who go here and the teachers who educate here themselves. Applied Tech has so much to offer. We'll start with a full campus tour with Elena. What is up ATHS? My name is Elena. Welcome to the Applied Technology High School Virtual Open House Tour. Right in front of Ender Hall over here we have where all the buses come down in 7.40 in the morning or a little bit before because that's when classes usually start. Everybody tends to go in in their classrooms on their merry way. In the afternoons at approximately 2.30 we have all the buses lined up with the first bus being this sports bus that takes you to your certain location. Everybody hops on it and you guys go. Lined up behind it, you have the rest of the buses ready to take you home and faculty members to coordinate where you're supposed to go. Pretty flowers. <laughs> All right, in we go. We'll take you into our introductory hallways. Usually in the morning, we all line up here to make sure that faculty members have our health check forms that we are, a parent is required to do every morning. If that parent forgets or has not done it, usually we have another faculty member here sitting making sure to contact your parents in order for you to fill it out so you can safely go into your classrooms. All right, so in this hallway, we're just about to enter our school officially. I will take you guys through the main office, guidance office, and certain hallways. Okay, on my left over here, we have our main office. If you notice, our doors have little scanners with fobs in which we use to open, so we take safety precautions. Here's Mrs. DeMarco, one of our guidance counselors. And in here we have our guidance office as well as our administrative assistant. Now down on my hallway here, hey Bella. We have our ninth grade hooks. This is where students leave and drop off their books. Everything is safe. On my right over here we have the English wing where we have three English teachers. On my left we have our principal's office. Hey Mr. Montano. Good morning. Good morning. On my left, we have our math department wing. So again, we have three teachers for here, and the rest are just hooks. All right, so we're gonna make a left over here. Our circle, our school is usually a circle. This is Mrs. Yassin, one of our history teachers. We have more ninth grade hooks on my left, and on the right, we have some faculty bathrooms. We like to separate the students and the kids, and the students and the teachers. 
On the left, we have our tech office where you will find Mr. Fuse. He is our production professor. Some tech offices on the right here because we are a STEM school. We have technical issues. On my left, we have Mrs. McManus, our school nurse. And here we start with our history department wing. So once again, we have three classrooms, three different teachers. To usually they split off who teaches what grade. On my right here, we have an eight-teachers mural created from our first graduating class in 2019. We have a faculty room here for our educators when they want to sit down and eat and chill. And this is coming to the end of our history classrooms. On the right over here, we have Mrs. Pierce, our school so social worker. Hello. Down the hallway, you'll find more hooks. So this is where our grades split. This is just about the sophomore class. Now, on my right, we have our student bathrooms. We have men, women, and gender neutral. This is our production room, where once again, you have Mr. Fuchs creating his awesome films. Water. <laughs> Over here, we have the conference room. A lot of our interviews for our prospective students go in here, or just some other stuff that we have to do throughout the school year. We have sports equipment rooms, or we have lockers made for sports. Our medical lab here, uh, some of our biology, anatomy, and physiology courses and labs take place. On the left, we have innovation centers. We're coming down our CTE hallway. So these are the 10th grade hooks still. Our engineering department has displayed some of their beautiful work throughout the years. We have their labs over here, you'll, if you take a look. It's kind of empty, but everybody's working on something cool. And on my right, we have the health professions wing. This is where you'll find Dr. Casella. This is where most of our CTE courses take place, in addition to the lab that I mentioned. More of our engineering students. All right, we got some more hooks over here. A lot of our doors are, a lot of our classrooms are double doors, so that's why I'm not mentioning them. I thought it was to say. More hooks, more hooks, and we're coming down to the end of our engineering wing. This is the design lab and the prototyping lab. A lot of cool projects are made from our students. We also have a computer lab right over here, state of the art technology, and our health professions classroom as well, where we have some simulations going on in here. Really cool stuff, guys. All right, I want to take you guys to the rest. Usually right here, you'll find an educator on hall duty. Hey, Mr. Zerberg. <laughs> this is Mrs. Flutemaker. She teaches physics in this class. Okay. Now down this hall right here, a lot of our college classes take place. This includes our language classes as well as our science classes such as chemistry and biology. On my left over here, we have some BCC bathrooms. Uh, it, they are for us to use as well. All right, and down the hall over here, we're gonna find our cybersecurity wing. There's one teacher currently, because we just opened the profession. This is on the left side. And on the right, I'm gonna show you guys our cyber cafe. <laughs> All right, and this is just an empty classroom. We have a lot of those to spare in case any teachers come in. Now, in the cyber cafe over here, a lot of our seniors spend their spare time whenever we don't have an in-person classroom. Hey guys! What's up? This is where all of our seniors are currently. Excuse me. And a lot of our students love to eat outside in our lovely courtyard. We have a bunch of scenery. We have a bunch of tables, chairs, and our lovely gazebo, which is our students' favorite and more places to go around and sit. All right, so as I mentioned to you guys before, we have a lot of scanners for our fobs. Once again, for security reasons. It's that easy to enter. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Okay. Now here is where our students usually go in to get their lunch. It's really quick and easy. And then they enter the cyber cafe through. A lot of our seniors like to spend their time to work on stuff here. This is our genius bar. It's usually quiet whenever there's a lot of motion in the lunch rooms. We also have chargers. 
for anybody's need accommodations. And here, this is a college hallway. This is not really into our use. Now, down this hallway, there's not much to explain because once again, this hallway tends to be a, more of a college one. But I do want to let you guys know that while most of our classes take place in Ender Hall, we do go into the main college campus, the Pickett Education Center, for our PE courses, which we call WEX, and some other lab simulations. Now, the way that we get there is a bus comes and picks us up. Our Bergen County School bus picks us up at the entrance hallway in which I mentioned. We easily take a ride up there. But if you tend to miss the bus, you can easily walk there. It's a quick 10-minute walk, and it's beautiful. There's so much scenery on this campus. You'll love it. All right, guys, so this concludes our tour. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Hope to see you guys next year. Bye. So how do you know if ATHS is for you? Let's hear some input from some of our awesome teachers. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Tay from ATHS, and I'm a senior here, and I'm with... Hi, I'm Miss Ortiz, and I'm an English teacher here at ATHS. She was my English teacher sophomore year. Yes. So I have a question for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. How do you know that ATHS is the school for you, and what are some advice you have for eighth graders applying here? I would say this is absolutely the school for you, whether or not you 100% know it or you're not sure yet. You're going to make friends whether you want to or not. Um, you're going to be challenged academically. You're going to find a club. You're going to find your place. For eighth graders who are applying here, you'd have to be comfortable with the small student to teacher ratio we have. We have small class sizes and we have kids coming from all over the county. We make a lot of new friends. Um, also, you have to be very interested in the technical programs we offer since they are the focus of why you're coming to this particular school. I think that um, any student that, that is super inquisitive, um, you know, you are used to using your phone. You are used to using a computer, but if you're the type of student that says, yeah, but how do these things work? I think you're well on your way to being an IT professional, and that includes being a cybersecurity professional. The best way to, to put it is if you like to uh, solve creative problems using technology, if you like hands-on uh, uh, work where you're, you're building and creating, and if you're interested in uh, using some unique equipment like our laser cutter and our routing table and our vacuum former and all those kinds of things, this is really our, uh, our fabrication lab and we do a lot of, this is about design thinking. So really what we're talking about is being posed with problems and then coming up with creative technology-based solutions. So if that appeals to you, this could be your program. So let's talk to the seniors a bit, especially those graduating from the first ever class in the health professions major. Some students might be intimidated hearing that the students here at ATHS take college courses. And since you're on your last year here and taking full college courses full time, how are they? I actually find them a lot easier than our high school classes. It's more about getting the work done at a comfortable pace that suits you. And the teachers are always there to help you in any capacity. I think that the school's done a great job um, structuring our curriculum so that we're kind of easing into all of the college courses. Teachers will understand that you're a freshman here so it's nothing to be really intimidated about. One tip would be like definitely don't think like don't fall behind because then that is when the workload does get crazy but if you're on your homework and on your notes it's smooth. It really does prepare us for like taking college courses outside of high school, but then it also prepares us for the rigor that we have in our high school classes. And once you get to be in the experience of like taking these college courses, I mean, it's nothing more difficult than that, taking an actual high school class, especially like the general education stuff like math and writing. Next question. What kinds of sports and electives do we have here and what are your favorites? I have to say my favorite is fitness club because it's just like a way to kind of de-stress and relax for me. I did track my first year and it was a very big team. They're really nice and like they're really welcoming. And then I also did softball, which is very fun. And I do cheer. Sports wise, I was part of our basketball team my first two years in high school. And I loved being able to play sports with people from all of the different campuses because not only do we get to make new friends from our school, but we get to interact with everyone from our Bergen Tech community. So my favorite activity in ATHS, which I recommend for everyone, is debate club. <laughs> debate club is the best club. You got to talk about real world issues. You got to 
um, argue with your friends, which is always a blast. And you get to learn a lot in an engaging, um, intellectual way. I also did track for my first two years of high school, which is really good to get to know the people from the other districts. So it was a really good bonding experience for me. Um, I was on the varsity volleyball team, and I'm a part of a bunch of different clubs here. I did HOSA, yearbook, newspaper, uh, climate team, AT Talks, and there's a bunch of other clubs that we're forgetting to name. So, And even if you're interested in something and we don't have it, you do have the ability to like start your own club and have like a teacher advisor. So there's a lot of options here. Last and final question. We don't have that big of a student body here at ATHS. What's the school environment like for you? The teacher-student ratio exactly. is pretty small, so the classes are going to be smaller overall, um, which is very good because that makes it a more engaging learning environment. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I feel like the small classrooms definitely allow the people to bond even more than we would in the regular town district school. And it's like really nice to see the people that you came to the school with grow with you and how you guys all change. And it's just really nice to like know everybody. You never feel alone because you're all together. It's pretty great. I mean, in all honesty, being in such a small school because you know everybody so well. Um, some things I noticed about the school environment is that everyone is super friendly to everyone and not like in a superficial way, but in a like kind of family sort of way, especially with the staff, like all of the teachers know everyone. And if you need help, they're there for you. There's a lot of potential for like one-on-one -on -one help if you need it. And I think having like a sm such a small school environment allows for like personal growth, whereas if you're in a big school, you might fe feel overwhelmed and like you don't have enough attention paid to you, but like here it's, it's perfect. Like I said, ATHS has so much to offer. Let's find out from some of our students what their favorite thing about our school is. Hey guys, it's Christian here and I'm with Isabella, Alessia, and Johanna. What is your favorite thing about ATHS? Um, I really like the opportunities that we have to take college courses. I think the freedom that we have, we're able to express ourselves. We get to meet other people around the county and how open we are to many opportunities. Uh, I like how hands-on the learning is. Uh, it teaches a lot about different engineering fields and what it takes to be an engineer. And why are you guys wearing scrubs today? We're wearing scrubs because we are in the health professions program with Dr. Castella. We go to the medical lab in the college where we do healthcare simulations and work with Professor Crook. So this concludes the senior portion of our open house. Hopefully you gained lots of insight about our ATHS community and are thinking about applying. Thank you so much.